Hello everybody and welcome back to another update video. Yesterday the first big major update dropped for Enshrouded and this is the Hollow Halls update with four new dungeons, a lot of stuff, materials, equipment, props and some quality of life features. Also a lot of technical things which were uh, improved. So. Here we are back in my castle and as you can already see on the left we have some new trophies. In this case it's a cyclop and as you can see I already killed a bunch and what is really cool look at the eyes. They follow the player character if you move around. It's really cool. But this is not what I wanted to show you. So let's head down to our tutorial area. Because as usual I prepared a lot of things. Also they patched a lot of stuff. And sadly they also patched the railgun glitch. So this doesn't work any longer. But... We have a lot of things in this update and I will cover everything from materials to props to new mechanics, everything. So this is my second Enshrouded update video, let's get into it. We got two new building blocks for basic materials, which is the hollow halls block, it's this grey one with the red outline pattern and we have the red marble block which is this one which looks really nice and it's also shiny also in the dark looks really really cool and we have two more blocks uh, three more blocks actually we have uh, two luminescent blocks which is the green one and the white one and we have a stained glass block, which is this one. I just added the blue one in here to, for comparison. So as you can see, we have now three glowing blocks. Also here behind the red marble. But I put it behind the windows because if you put it right into the wall, then there's a weird pattern and the right side of the block doesn't appear so it looks much better if you put it behind. I don't know if it's a bug or something but it looks weird so this is how I placed it right now. We have also a lot of new lightning opens and we have a new bed right here. Some torches, wall torches with this greenish light some braziers, we have a large cupboard and a small cupboard and we have a book stand. This is actually one of the hidden recipes which you can find. Then we have some shelves which you can place on the ground, a big one and a medium one. Also we have a lot of tables, we have a big red marble table medium size and a small size. And I already placed some of the new props on here. We also have this new skull lamp, a new throne which is also a hidden recipe. And with this patch you finally can sit on all the chairs and benches, which is really nice. Then we have some more clutter, which is uh, these two globes and two sizes of flasks. Also we have this new crafting station, which is the ectoplasm press and you use this to convert your ectoplasm into different stuff. And we have a lot of new stuff. I can show you this in this chest. Oh, that's the wrong one. That's the right one. 
We have base materials, which is ectoplasm. This is the tier one, basically. We have greater ectoplasm, which is tier two. And then we have the excellent ectoplasm, which is basically tier three. We have four dungeons. So this one you can get in dungeon four, dungeon three, dungeon two. And in the first dungeon, you only get the fragments, ectoplasm fragments, which will be crafted into ectoplasm gems. And also you find ectoplasm shards in the second one and ectoplasm crystals in the uh, third, uh, fourth one. Then you can also find and harvest these toxic slimes, which are all over the floor in all dungeons. If you step in it, you get uh, like 30 damage each second. But you can actually mine this toxic slime and then it's also crafted into something else, which is purified slime, which you need to craft further. Then we also got this one. This is the glowing substance, white glowing substance. And this is for the new white building block. So you need this and it's crafted at the alchemist. And then we have another ingredient, which are the giant bones. These are from the cyclops, so from boss drops. And then we also have the red marble fragments, which drop all over the place in all dungeons. And you need these to craft the red marble blocks. So we have new blocks, which are the white luminous block, the green luminous block, the ectoblasm block, the hollow halts block, and the red marble block. And I also found on my last run in the fourth dungeon a complete set of armor. So I, I'm not sure if this was in the game before, but I found the Gloom Monarch armor set all in one run in different hidden chests. So I thought it would be nice to show this also. What else do we have? We got the new blocks. We have a lot of new lighting options as I showed before, but we also have a new secret door, which is over here fits into the red marble so let's open it up and also finally the rough stone block secret door was patched as you remember it had the wrong texture so this one is fixed so you can finally put this into your rough stone block walls and houses we also have uh, three different shelf sizes here for books a large one medium one and a small one and also we have a new prop, which is called the Iron Gate, but it's not a building block, it's actually furniture. So you can place it horizontally or vertically. Looks really nice, gives a lot of options to play with, and this is a nice addition. We also have some more lighting options, which are crafted from the new materials. This is like a gigantic candelier, which is hanging from the walls. Also this vase, big huge vase with green burning fire in it. And then we have a wall mounted one over here. And I'm not sure if this was patched before, but we also have three different new stone braziers, like small, medium and large one. I'm not sure if it was in the game before, but I have never seen it before, so I think it's patched also. And something I'm really excited about, which was also added in this patch, are the complete new window frames. As you can see, we have a small size 2x2 two two, and a medium size 3x3, three three, which is the wooden window, the carved window, the polished window, stone window, and finally the iron window. So five new window options, all in a round style, really nice. And also new with this patch, round doors and window frames for large size. So if you want to build a shire, now is the perfect time. Another great addition are flower pots, potted flowers. Uh, as you remember, it was really hard to build this before. Now you have these options. You can craft the pots in the kiln and we have different sizes, tiny one 
medium one, large one, and the big squared one. So tiny one has four options right here. The medium sized one is only uh, in a rectangle shape. Then we have the bigger one. This is actually for both sizes, it's the same pot. So we have the round one over here. We have six different flower options, but also four options for the wall mounted pot. Really nice. And then the same pot, but looks a little bit different uh, with a bigger pot uh, below. Uh, also six flower options. And finally we have four bigger pots with four flower options and these have also the wall mounting like you can see here. So these are all the new props. There are even more uh, which I can't show you here but uh, let me show you in the journal. If you go to your workshops and to the blacksmiths then you can see that we also have a couple of new shield options. Rook shield, soldier shield, guardian round shield Mercenary shield, and I'm not sure if these two are new. Yeah, we have a couple of new shields. Really nice. Also, we have our new NPC, which is the collector. And here you can craft also some new soups, which are basically buffs. But these buffs have also a disadvantage. You will lose health, but you gain damage and life leech. So there are three different tiers also. The small one, the big one, and the epic one. And I never used it before, but I will give it a try if I go back into the dungeons. Also, you have an ice protection lotion, which is new. You have bone channel, which is really, really powerful. Also uses giant bones, which are from the Cyclops. I hope there would be an option for an eternal spell of this, but Maybe I didn't find it yet, or maybe it's coming later, I don't know. Also new, we have uh, summoning vessels, which we can throw. I have one right here. And if you throw it, it summons your skeleton. And there is no limit to it, so you can throw as many as you like. They stay for about one or two minutes, but these are exactly the same as you get from your necrotic spell. Let me see in the skill, uh, which is, I think this one, Necromancer. You have a 10% chance to summon a skull companion. Those are the companions. Then we have new options at the Alchemist. Yeah, these are the clutter options. The Huntress has only the new wall decorations over here, the new trophies. But one nice thing, you can now craft flower soil, which needs farm soil and honey. And the new attribute of flower soil is that uh, flowers actually grow faster on it. So now you can craft it. You don't have to harvest or mine it. You can just craft it. And here are also all the flower pot decorations. Let's have a look into the new ectoplasm press. Here you can purify the toxic slime, the ectoplasm, and these are the options which are available right now. I'm still missing, I don't know, one or two recipes. So I will give an update if I find everything, but right now I played through all four dungeons two times, the fourth already three times, and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that I will find them in time. If you want to know where you can find which block, I can also give you a quick rundown. The white luminescent block, uh, you will get if you you will get it automatically if you acquire this glowing substance for the first time. The 
green luminescent block is also the same. You get it if you purify the slime for the first time. But these three blocks are in the different dungeons, hidden in the different dungeons. You get the hollow hearts block from the first dungeon. You get the red marble block from the second dungeon. You will get the ectoblasm block from the third dungeon. So here you have all the new content. I hope you liked the little update. If you have questions, just leave them in the comments and I will update if I find anything else. So if you liked the video, leave a like or subscribe. And thank you for watching as usual and see you in the next one. What?